Hi, I'm Braden with REI. Bindings are your connection to your ski and they have two main jobs. To hold your boot in place so you can control the ski and to release your boot in a fall. Downhill bindings are made of three main parts. The toe and heel piece which hold your boot in place, the anti-friction device which lets your toe slide out of the binding in a fall, and the brake which helps keep your ski from sliding down the hill without you. Make sure that the brakes that come with your bindings are wide enough to fit over the waist of your skis. It's important to select a binding capable of the right release settings for you. These are also called DIN settings. The higher the DIN, the more force it takes to release your boot in a fall. Recreational skiers usually need a DIN between 3 and 12, while more aggressive skiers may need higher settings to keep them locked in at high speeds or on rough terrain. Heavier skiers, or those with a larger frame, may also need a higher DIN. Choosing the right bindings for you depends on what type of skiing you enjoy. Bindings designed for beginner or intermediate skiers prioritize value and easy entry. Their DIN settings are adequate for most recreational skiers. Advanced models designed for aggressive skiers are capable of higher release settings to hold the skier in at high speeds. Some may also allow your boot a small amount of travel within the binding without releasing it. This feature can be especially helpful when skiing over rough terrain. Because some boots and bindings are designed for backcountry or telemark skiing, it's important to make sure your bindings are compatible with your chosen boots. Most bindings are sold and mounted separately from skis, but some come with skis as part of an integrated system. Once you select your bindings, make sure to have them mounted and set by professionals. Release settings especially must only be adjusted by trained technicians. For more information, visit your local REI or REI.com.